This is my skin after just waking up and I deal a lot with eczema, rosacea, acne, and my skin has never been clearer. I think skin cycling is my new go-to. I'm, I'm actually really amazed at my skin. What up guys, my name is Kate and you are watching Testing TikTok. Today I'm gonna show you the viral sensation that is skin cycling. Welcome to morning one of skin cycling. This is what you're gonna be doing every morning on the skin cycling journey. The first thing you're gonna do is wash your face, yes. The next thing I did was apply some vitamin C. You know you wanna keep that skin fresh, keep that skin going. I have to apply a hyaluronic acid and moisturizer, so I'm just gonna apply this Clinique Moisture Surge all around my face. I also really like this because it gives me a base for my makeup. I just went and put on some sunscreen, so now my face has been cleaned, there was moisture put in there, and there's sunscreen. I'm now gonna do my makeup and I will be back. This is the makeup look for the day. It's very simple, very plain, but I definitely need a lip. I am gonna use the Black Honey by Clinique. I love this lip. I've been using this lip since I was younger. This morning I used a bit of foundation, so I used the Clinique Even Better Clinical, which I really like because you can actually take a test online to see what shade you are. And I'm normally in between in the fall because I was warm from summer and I'm getting a little paler for the winter. And this was a perfect in-between shade, so pretty happy with this. We are gonna have a day and then we're gonna come to the night portion of skin cycling. Night one of skin cycling, you wanna start by cleansing your face. I use these two products to cleanse my face. Clinique All About Clean Liquid Facial Soap. It's just a mild soap. I find that it's really good on my sensitive skin. And then I also use the Clinique Take the Day Off, which helps get all my makeup off. And it's just a nice balm to really smooth out anything and take it off. Once your face is cleaned up, you're going in with the exfoliator. Will just kind of help get rid of anything that's like still in my pores or some dead skin. So we're just gonna apply that all over our face. Once you've cleansed and exfoliated, you wanna add moisturizer because you might be a little dry. I love having a good moisturizer so at the end of the night, I don't wake up and my face is peeling off of my body. Your skin is going to feel more exfoliated, more raw, honestly, on day one because you're getting rid of all the dead skin, you're getting off any kind of oil and whatnot and you're setting your skin up for the next cycling day so let's head to day two day two of skin cycling and again I just washed my face today we're gonna do some more targeted focus spots so I'm gonna start by taking my moisturizer and I'm gonna put it on areas of my face that are more drying now that I've given a little extra moisturizer to the areas of my face that need it I'm going to do a repair. I'm gonna use the Smart Clinical Repair Serum. You can put this on areas where you feel needs more help, like the wrinkled areas I just put the moisturizer on. You can use this or you can use a retinol. You don't want your skin to be too drying. If something is too harsh for you, make sure just to put moisturizer and keep it hydrated, keep it feeling good. Um, but I really enjoy this product and I just put it everywhere as you can see. That's almost it for night two, but if you want, you can put on more moisturizer that doesn't have petroleum in it. So if you're feeling a little dry, just apply some more moisturizer. You can tap that on. I've been having dry skin lately, so I am gonna apply a bit of extra moisturizer all around. That is day two. We used our cleanser, our moisturizer, our serum, our retinol, or whatever kind of serum you have to just focus on wrinkled areas and your skin. And then we used another moisturizer just to make sure we're locking it all in and keeping our skin super hydrated. We are on day three, which is the same as day four, and this is my favorite day because it takes the least amount of time. And when my bed is calling me to sleep, I need to answer that call. So the first thing you're gonna do is cleanse your skin. So once you clean your face, all you're gonna do is moisturize. We love moisturizer. You actually wanna use a hyaluronic acid first and then a moisturizer. This moisturizer by Clinique Moisture Surge actually has hyaluronic acid in it and it's a moisturizer. So I'm just gonna use that and I'm just gonna put it all over my skin and rub it in. 
Feels so good, yes. That's it for day four, just cleanser, hyaluronic acid, and moisturizer, and then you're good to hit the hay. I naturally have a lot of acne. You can see like I have marks here, I have some marks here, but my skin has been much clearer, and I think it's because of the exfoliating on day one, the retinol on day two, and then just letting my skin breathe and have a moment to relax with the moisturizing and the hyaluronic acid on day three and four. My my skin has felt a lot better. So I am super happy with skin cycling. Let us know if you try it. That's it for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed. Remember to like, subscribe, turn on that notification button, and we hope to see you next time.